Don't let the devil cheat you. If he's stolen from you and made you experience some loss, then you must be ready to take it back. This is your season. God is promising to restore all that you've lost back to you. You must make a decision not to be depressed or frustrated. You should rather tap into God's promises and keep praying to Him. He's listening and ready to answer your prayers. Remember that the continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Be like David and encourage yourself in the Lord. Snap out of that depression and pain and encourage yourself in the Lord. The enemy is happy that you've lost so much. Don't let him cheat you totally. When you enter into a great depression, then you're only giving him the edge to win and take over all that he's stolen from you. Instead of mopping in tears, you should encourage yourself in the Lord like David did. And you can do this by reminding yourself of all the Lord has done for you. Remind yourself of all the victories that you've won. Remind yourself of how God has been by your side and has been favoring you. How he's been there healing you and delivering you from different trouble at different times in your life. When you remember all that he's done for you, you would have so much confidence that you would now believe in God's power to restore your loss and double what you've lost to you. With this confidence, you can head on and take back what the enemy took from you by going to God in prayer. The good news about this is that God is the one doing the job. God is going to win over you and restore everything that you lost back to you. He's the one who will pursue for you, and he shall surely overtake and recover everything without failing. Now that you have the confidence and energy, go and confront the enemy in prayers, and you will get back what was taken from you. This is your time for full restoration. However, you must pray and set your heart ready to receive what God has in store for you. Through your words and your faith, you will receive that which God wants to give you in this season. Your words have power, and you must continue to declare your request to God from a place of confidence. Remember that you're God's child, and He loves you very much. As you send forth those words in declarations, confessions, and prayers, you'll see God working for you. You will win against the enemy's plans for you because you have God by your side. After all, if God be for you, who dares to stand against you? This is your time of double restoration. God is actively working out plans for your sake that will lead you to get double everything that you've lost. Remember that the plans he has for you are for good and not for evil, to give you an expected end. God will never put you to shame. While waiting on God to restore your loss, you must wait in patience and love and not get weary or tired. When King David went to battle with the Amalekites to recover from his loss, he had to fight them for quite a period. However, he didn't stop or give up. The same thing with Job. Job had to wait quite a long while before God restored his loss to him in double folds. Don't give up. Don't get depressed or down. Keep speaking what you want and you will receive it from him. You will receive all that the devil has taken from you and even get back in return fully, like in the case of Job. God will restore all your loss and restore all the years the enemy has made you lose. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. God is with you. He will not let the devil win over you. He will not let that loss remain permanent. He will pursue for you, and he will recover and multiply for your sake. He will give you a double restoration. What the devil meant for evil God is surely to turn it around for your good. Remember that everything works together for good for those that love God. You've been declared victor and a conqueror, and so no matter what loss you've experienced, God will turn it around into your victory. The Bible says in 1 John 5 verses 4 to 5, quote, You see, every child of God overcomes the world. 
For our faith is the victorious power that triumphs over the world. So who are the world conquerors, defeating its power? Those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. End quote. God is with you. He will pursue you and ensure that he hands over double package to you. Just when the devil thought he'd made you lose everything, God will show up and recover everything and even double it. What the devil planned to use to bring you down, God will recover and multiply it around for your good. That barrier is broken. God will put supernatural speed on your legs. He will give you an experience this season that defies the calculations in science, because with God, you cannot plot graphs. Sometimes, many enter into strong cities and enter into their car and cannot stop breathing hard in fear and dread of the city. But God says in His word, He has delivered you from the strivings of the people. He has made you head over the heathen. The people you've not known shall serve. And as soon as that barrier hears of you, it will obey and fade away. There is a certainty you can have that that financial crisis is over. God has broken the gates of bronze and has cut the brass asunder. And he will open the two-leaved gate, and it shall not shut. And he will break in the peace bar of iron. The impossible will be unleashed in your life. You will have a cause to rejoice again. It might be a tight place now, but space will be made for you in tight places, and you will eat of the good of the land. You should be courageous and strong, and look at that barrier and affirm to it that you are broken, and you cannot hold me down. Courage is not shown in the absence of barriers, but it's shown amid the challenges you go through and come out of, the pressure knowing you cannot be cracked by the pressure. When you climb the mountains in Israel, you'll realize God always told his people to stand on the mountain to speak. Because maybe you've been addressing the barrier from downward up, but now you have to attend it from the upward down, because it's smaller than you. You will announce to it that you are broken forever. That generational wrap of sickness that jumps from one person to another is broken forever. That thoughts that keep coming about the loss of your loved ones, you'll announce what God says about you and your family. That nothing is too good for you and your life is hidden in God. It might be a setback and delayed desire, but you must understand the character of God. It was not given to you by God. It should be permitted as a hindrance in your life. That barrier can be broken and turned into a blessing. Your face does not have to hang down. You must understand that for you, any barrier coming to you is for your profit. There is something God has put in you as yeast to rise against the barrier. Now you should rise with the voice of thanksgiving and the song of melody, because God is not about to break the barrier, but he has already done it.